Where have you been? I just went to the thrift shop to get Joey a stuffed toy. Come on. You're so pale. You all right? I'm fine. I was just worried about you and Joey, that's all. And what's he need a stuffed animal for when he's got his football? Hey, Joey. <laughs> hey, Joey. All his ah! boss back to pass. And all his receivers are covered. He's being blitzed. He rolls to the right, and he ducks the ball away. And he's down to the 30, the 25, the 20, the 10. He's got a touchdown. And he spikes the ball. Ah! Yeah. Cole, you carry him like a football. Oh, I won't fumble him. Oh. We're gonna get out of this dump. Where will we go? I don't know, but out of here. We don't have enough money to move again. Yeah, we do. I, I got us some. How? Got a job. Cole, a doing what? Coaching at a, at a park? Construction? Collecting for some collection agency. But my boss is a real lowlife, so I quit. Listen, I'll meet you and Joey at the bus depot at 5 o'clock. Just bring him in his carriage, okay? Where are you going? Why can't we all go together? I've got some stuff I gotta do. Listen, you just gotta trust me, okay? That's what you said the night I got pregnant. Hey, I said I'd look out for you and Joey, and I am. We're gonna make it on our own, without our parents, without no one. Where are the parents now? Just bring Joey to the depot in his carriage, five o'clock. I love you. I love you, too. I gotta go. See you at five, QB. I'll be gone all evening, so don't wait up for me. Where are you off to, Tilly? Oh, it's a kind of a slumber party. We women get together and talk about food and men and clothes, you know. What you got in the bag? Uh, potato chips. You sure they're not poker chips? Would you believe corn chips? Tilly, I thought you swore off gambling your New Year's resolution. Well, New Year's is past, and I thought you swore off the sweets again. Touché. But listen, Tilly, don't take the old ladies for too much, will you? 
Oh, Simon. Do I look like a hustler to you? <laughs> Simon, what do you think? About what? About my new shirt. It's a Gigliano, direct from Paris. Yeah, it's nice. Nice? This is the best shirt made. Yes, nice. Simon, I want you to feel this. That is the finest Italian silk. It's hand-stitched. Look at the detailing in that cuff. What about the collar, huh? Yeah, it's really very nice, all right? You may know a lot about a lot of things, but you know nothing about fashion, my friend. This is a great shirt. Look, Alex, it's a wonderful, marvelous, terrific shirt. It's great, okay? Is the paper coming today? I don't know. Uh, why don't you go out and get it? You can show your shirt off to the neighbors. Peasant. Peasant, peasant, peasant. It's just a shirt. Simon? What is it? I don't suppose you know anything about this. To the wizard. I know you help people, so please help my baby be safe until I come back to get him. He's healthy and loves toys. His name is Joey. Joey. Thank you. It's unsigned. I guess I'd better call the Department of Social Services. Oh, wait a minute, Alex. They asked help from me, not from them. Simon, this isn't a stray dog. This is a baby. I know. It's cute, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, Joey. Yeah. Hey, take him in. All right. A bleep a deep a deep a deep a deep a deep a deep a Oh. What are you oh. doing? Oh. I'm making a baby smile. Uh, a yeah. boo all right, so I don't know anything about babies or fashion, all right? Well, now, how are we going to stop the baby from crying? Well, I don't know. Why are you asking me? Well, you're the toy maker. What's that got to do with it? Well, I think a good businessman should know his customers. Well, perhaps he needs food. Yeah, blue, 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 Good. Very good. No, we've got no baby's bottle. Well, I'll run down to the store and get one. I've got an idea. You look after him. Shh. Oh, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people are fingerprinting their children these days. Thought maybe you could trace him back to his parents. Huh, good idea. That's a good boy. Let's see if he'll take this. Right, let's try this hand over here. Come on in, right Joey. In here. here it is. Here comes the airplane. Yeah. What a good boy. That's a good boy. Who's hungry? <laughs> Last 
fingerprint. Finish. Yeah, and so am I. That's a good boy, Joey. Now I'll just take these down and run them through the computer. Yeah. Oh, Alex, before you go, while he's on your shoulder, why don't you burp him? On my new shirt? Oh, Alex. You fed him. You burp him. Oh. It's easy. Look, you just put him on his shoulder and you pat him on the back. Oh, no. <laughs> It'll wash. <laughs> <laughs> that won't. Look what you did. We better find out who that baby belongs to, fast. Last loading call for the Des Moines Express, with stops in Tremaine, Vernon Falls, Cumberland Fork, and Springfield, Iowa. Come with you. All aboard, please. Bus number 73, arriving from Hartfield, delayed 20 minutes. All passengers making connections, please come to the signal. Nice to see you. Sit down. What do you think? Sir? Of my little treats. Come over here. Now, what do you think? <sighs> Makes me feel like a giant looking down at a forest. Or like God looking down upon creation. And if a branch displeases him, he can just reach down and... <sighs> How's Beth and the baby? They're okay. You know, sometimes I feel as though Joey is my very own. I mean, after all, I helped bring him into the world. I paid for his hospital care, his food, the clothing on his back. I paid for that. And I paid for you. I gave you a job when you needed money to have that baby, and I get what I pay for. This is the money you picked up this morning from the local bookies. It's like the Bermuda Triangle. Five grand just vanished in thin air. It was all there when I gave it to Brownie. Maybe he ripped you off. Hey. Ah, ah. He's not that stupid. Cole. I'll tell you what. You keep the money. And I'll keep the baby. Mr. Trammer, I swear Get I... Get him out of here. Oh. Look, look! I just borrowed it, okay? I was... You I... stole from me! Do you know what I do to people who try to rip me off? I'll give the money back. I'll bring the money back. I haven't no. spent any of... No, I don't want the money now. You bring me your baby. What do you want my baby for? I can get 15000 for a healthy baby boy. Sell Joey? You got in over your head, Cole. Look at it this way. When I take the baby, you won't have to worry about how to provide for him anymore. Mr. Trammer, please. I'm sorry. I'll give the money back. I'll work for free, whatever you want. But please, don't do this. I'll give you till tomorrow morning. I either get my money or I get your baby. You understand? Hmm. Uh, once upon a time, there were three fishes. There was a big daddy fish, and there was a smaller mummy fish, and there was a teeny weeny baby fish, just like you. And the three fishes came home one night, and they swam into their cave deep down under the sea. And the daddy fish said, Oh, someone's been eating my food. And the mummy fish said, Somebody's been eating my food. Oh, I'm so scared. Me too. When you were
born at the bus stop. I, I, I waited, but when you didn't come. Where's the carriage? I left it somewhere. Where? Where'd you leave it? I was so scared when I saw those men pull you into that car. I was afraid. I didn't know what to do. Where's Joey? Call. Where is he? I left Joey with someone. You what? Who? Where'd you leave him? I won't say. Beth, tell me where he is. He's someplace safe. And I won't go get him until you tell me who those men were and why they pulled you into that car. Cole, please. You said you'd always be honest with me. I got into some trouble, that's all. But it's over now. What kind of trouble? Look, when you got into trouble, I stood by you. Now it's your turn to stand by me. What do you mean when I got into trouble? You were just as responsible. Well, you could have said no. I should have said no. Well, you didn't have to have it, did you? Yes, I did. Do you think I enjoyed being pregnant? Swelling up like a blimp with everybody staring at me, saying, oh, she's too young to have a baby. Well, they're right. But I've got Joey now. And I'm not going to let anyone hurt him. Not anyone. Well, I'm not going to let anyone hurt him either. Look, are you sure he's safe where he is? And the carriage is there, too? Yes. Okay, okay. There's a bus leaving for Iowa tomorrow morning at 7. We can go home. No, and... I told you I won't go home. Not ever again. Yes. No, Cole. Folks didn't care enough when they found out I was having a baby. They're never going to see Joey. Okay. There's plenty of stops along the way. Tomorrow morning, first thing, you go get Joey in the carriage. And we'll go someplace nice. Colorado or someplace, okay? I love you, Beth. Are you sure the trouble you got in is over? to bed, I'll get the baby. No, 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 you've done it twice today. I'll take care of it. He might need his diaper changed. Well, if you really want to. Right, Papa? Here for my baby. Long John Silver's is the perfect place to learn the value of a dollar. Right, boys? Mrs. Salmich. What is this? The seafood platter. And these? Fish, shrimp, clams. Excellent. And the seafood platter's price. $3.99? Right. And that is... Value. Can we eat now? Long John Silver. May we eat now? Sounds good to me. Phil, you're overreacting. We've got 30 people out there. Okay, I made a crude remark about your breath. I apologize. There's no mouthwash. I look. I bought something new. It's cool, crisp, like nothing you've ever tasted. It's blue. It's Scope. Taste it. Introducing Scope Peppermint. Yes, peppermint. Like original mint, it kills germs like medicine mouthwash, and your breath's icy clean. Whoa! Exactly, Phil. Whoa. Now the power of Scope comes in peppermint, too. You know it as a powder. You love it as a spot fighter. Cascade. Beautiful. Now there's a new way to get virtually spotless dishes. Now there's Cascade, the liquid. That famous sheeting action for virtually spotless dishes is now available in new Liquid Cascade. Liquid Cascade, terrific. 
Cascade for virtually spotless dishes. Friday on CBS. I'll get you, my pretty. <laughs> There'll be no place like home with the Wizard of Oz. Friday. Monday, when Jenny gets a proposition. The couch opens. What does Allie propose to do? Don't rush me. I'm not Dr. Ruth. Kate and Allie. Then, can two sisters survive under one roof? No! Yes! No! But there's one thing they can't agree on. There's no way we can be sisters. My Sister Sam. Monday. AIDS is a killer that does not discriminate. All Americans need to know the basic facts. Write AIDS, Box 14252, Washington, D.C., 20044. Joey's asleep upstairs. Was he all right? I hope he wasn't too much trouble. Oh, no. Uh, he was really well behaved. Could I have him back, please? How old are you? Old enough to have a baby. Apparently not old enough to care for one. That's not true. Look, why don't we just take it easy, sit down and have a chat, all right? Come on. Over here. Now, I like Joey a lot. I'm sure I'm going to like his mother. What time is it? It's uh, 10 after 6. What's your name? Beth. Pleased to meet you. Simon McCain. I'm Alex. I need a cup of coffee. Simon, you want one? Uh, tea for me. Can I have a cup of coffee, please? Yeah. Beth, it's not every day somebody I don't know leaves their baby on my doorstep. I'd like to know why you did it. A sales lady at a toy store was telling stories about how you help people and that you live nearby, so? Yeah, what I meant was, uh, why do you need someone to keep Joey safe? We was just in some trouble, but it's over now. So if I can just get Joey back, we're gonna... We're gonna catch a bus this this morning at seven. We? Oui. Joey's daddy stood by me. He's a real good man. He loves Joey a lot. How old is he? He's 17. Are you married? Well, kinda. Cole gave me a promise ring one night out by Decker Pond. We made vows to each other, but it was just us. Where is he now? He's at the bus depot getting our tickets. And I'm supposed to be there with Joey. What time did you say it was? It's, uh, it's almost 6.15. I really gotta go. Can I please have Joey back now? Where's his carriage? Listen, instead of rushing off to the bus depot, why doesn't Alex drive over and he can pick up... Cole. Cole. He can pick up Cole and we can come back here and all get to know each other better. What do you say? No, thank you. I really appreciate what you did. Both of you. But I have to go meet Cole. Beth, child abandonment is against the law. But I didn't abandon him. I left him with the wizard. She's got a point there, Alex. Look, you obviously trusted me enough to take care of your baby. Well, I feel honored. You obviously love Joey, and you want what's best for him. Well, so do we. We can't let you take him out into the world until we know he's going to be all right. He's gorgeous. Father was an all-state jock. They're getting quality merchandise. I'll call you back. Yeah, you call me back. I thought you were just using the baby as leverage to get the money back. First rule of business. Maximize your profits, cut your losses. Cool as a loss. 
His baby's prophet. <laughs> Dunbar. Hey, 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 don't run. I've got a message for you from Beth. She and uh, she and the baby are waiting for you. Where? Come on, I'll take you to him. Who are you? I'm Alex Jagger. Come here, look. I got a picture for you. She gave it to me so you'd trust me. How do I know you didn't take this from her? Why would I? Who is he? I don't know. Give me the glasses. Maybe he's bringing the money. Well, we've waited long enough. Now, let's reel the kid in. Come on, let's get out of here. What's this all about? Just help me out, OK? Buckle your seatbelt. next to him. Can't this thing go any faster? This is a rent a getaway kid. Just keep your mouth shut, okay? What are those for? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe we can give our friends back there a little surprise. Wrong switch. Who are you? A friend of a friend. And this is his car. something sweet now and then, may we suggest something Hi, Daddy. with NutraSweet. Would you like to have something sweet? Just look for the swirl. NutraSweet brand sweetener. 
This mirror reveals the whole truth. This woman just washed with soap. See the makeup and dirt soap leaves? I recommend Pond's Cold Cream to lift away what soap doesn't for cleaner, beautiful skin. No soap does what Pond's does beautifully. Sometimes your skin gets so dry you can scratch the word dry right on your hand. And the drier your skin, the more you need Vaseline Intensive Care Lotion. It soothes and starts healing dry skin on contact. That's today's Vaseline Intensive Care. Your work never seems to end. That's why Whirlpool cooking products are easy to clean. With cooktops that wipe up in short order. Ovens that do the cleaning for you. And performance you can count on. Whirlpool. Ranges and ovens. Wizard will continue. Tonight on CBS. You're having a delayed reaction. You need help. The death of a fellow Vietnam vet takes Rick to the edge in a special Simon and Simon. This is CBS. Honda Motor Company announces a price increase on the next March shipment of cars. At Schofield Honda, we have over 150 Hondas at the old, lower price. For the next 48 hours only, beat the increase and save. Schofield has the largest selection in the Midwest of the car rated number one in customer satisfaction and loyalty. We have your choice of Accord, Civic, CRX, and Prelude models, and we have them all in stock. Hurry, you have just 48 hours to beat the increase at Schofield Honda. 7017 East Kellogg. Hello, everybody. I'm Roger Cornish. Coming up on the Eyewitness Nightcast tonight at 10 o'clock, the danger of playing next to the railroad tracks is brought out in horrifying reality to school kids in Wichita today with a real tragedy. Malcolm Briggs reports on the Eyewitness Extra about those great cut-rate airfares that might not be so great if you don't pay attention to what you're actually buying. And Dave Grant reports from Kansas City on the eve of the Big 8 basketball tournament. And, of course, a complete look at weekend weather. I'm Roger Cornish. Join us at 10 o'clock. Susan Peters, leading the way. Hey, Joey, look at this. Wait till you see this. I've made this toy. It's a clown. It repeats everything you say. Look, anything you can do, I can do better. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. I can do anything better than you. You see? You see? You watch. Oh, you watch. Yeah, you like him, don't you? Yeah, you like him, don't you? <laughs> well, don't cry, he'll copy you. Don't, don't cry, he'll copy you. Shh. 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 Will you shut up? Shut up. No, not you. Yeah. Oh. Simon, as tired as I am, I gotta admit, that's fantastic. Tilly, am I glad to see you. That's the greatest toy you ever made. What are you talking about? You've seen this clown before. Not the clown, the baby doll. Cry surreal. Looks like he could eat and even go to the... Believe me, Tilly, he does everything. Uh-huh. Well, I just came down to say good morning and good night. I'm going to go to bed, so would you turn those things off? I wish I could turn this one off. Excuse me. Oh, here, Beth. Oh, come on, Joe. He doesn't seem to like clowns. Oh, he's just sleepy from you playing with him so much is all. Aren't you, hon? Yeah. Let's go get a nap. Tilly, this is Beth and Joe. How do you do? I've been more alert. I'm just going to put Joey down for a nap. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise, I'm sure. Baby. Yes. Motherhood before adulthood, and there's a lot of that going around. It needs some education. I've just been a day with that baby, and it's worn me out. I don't know how she copes with it at that young age. Yeah, it's not like playing house. Really more like poker, risky business. You lost, did you? I wouldn't be this tired if I'd won. 
Well, wake me tomorrow night, would you, Simon? Well, wake me tomorrow night, would you, Simon? Another fine mess you got me. Another fine mess you got me. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. I was scared Alex couldn't find you. Is Joey okay? I just put him down for a nap. When I saw you from the window, I screamed so loud I almost woke him up. Did you have any trouble finding them? No, nah, finding them was easy. Keeping him was another matter. And by the way, your truck's out of glue. What happened? It seems somebody else was looking for him, too. All the kid would say was that it was some guy he owed money to. I figured I'd go check out the car, follow up on it. Thanks, Alex. Uncle Alex. <laughs> We're gonna talk. Yesterday, I found a baby on my front doorstep. He didn't ask to be here. He didn't have any say in the matter. Babies don't get to choose. They have to rely on our better judgment. Are we gonna get another lecture? Carl. No, I'm sure you've heard plenty of lectures. You don't need anyone to tell you the situation you're in. What you do need is to talk to someone who's ready to listen. Cole, we have to trust someone. Why? They only want something back from us in return. Joey's ours. He belongs to us and no one can take him. Joey is your baby, he's not your possession. You brought this life into the world, but it's his life. It's your duty to nurture him and give him the best possible start you can. What do you think I'm trying to do? I think you're trying to avoid the issue. Why is it always on me? You know, I didn't want to come out here in the first place. I was only trying to do what Beth wanted. And what was that? Make a life for us. Somewhere where people wouldn't stare at us. Like, well, like we had the plague instead of a baby. Like they did back home. Your parents don't know where you are? They don't care. My parents died last year. I'm sorry. But Beth, your parents can still help. No. Irony is, with one pregnancy, I got a child, and they got rid of one. They don't want nothing to do with me. Haven't you called them? Haven't you spoken to them about it? Well, if I'd been able to talk to them, I probably wouldn't be in this mess. Look, we can make it all right on our own. Not with you doing whatever it is you've done. Beth, Cole wasn't prepared to be a father any more than you were prepared to be a mother. Now, Alex said something about you owing some money. What's that about? Well, I had some money that I saved for college, but that went pretty quick. And all the jobs I could get didn't pay enough. And the ones that did, you either needed a, a union card or a high school diploma or two years' experience. So, uh, I borrowed some money from this guy. And I'm gonna pay it back. Come in. Where's the boy? He got away. How? Well, this guy, I don't know who he was, but it was like he was driving the Batmobile. First he hit us with a smoke screen. And where are your shoes? Uh, they're with the car, sir. And where's the car? Uh... It's stuck to the street on Blair Road. Hmm. How you doing, baby? Don't. Beth. Look, if you're just here because you feel like you have to be, then I don't want you here at all. You can go home, Cole. It's all right. I understand. This is a promise ring, and I gave you promises with it. I'm going to keep every one of them. 
You really don't have to, Cole. I won't hold you to them. It's not because I have to. Taking Joey out for a walk. Yeah, well, um, why don't I go with you? I could do with the fresh air. <laughs> nice day for a stroll. I gotta change his diaper. Oh, let's take him inside. I've got an extra under the mattress. Okay. Joey. Hear Beth and Joy for me, please. Go away, don't! Come back! I got us into this! I gotta get us out! Go. You will love the first bite, outrageously right. New kudos, granola snacks. Please it, tease it. Kudos, I'm yours! I'm yours! Nutty fudge, chocolate chip, or peanut butter. Kudos, you won me over any other. Electrifying, granola fire. Simply nutritious, outrageously delicious. Kudos, I'm yours, I'm yours. Breakfast to go. My hairline receded, okay? Now my gums are receding. <laughs> you know, you can get cavities where you never knew you had teeth at the roots. I am gonna use Listermint, because the fluoride in Listermint can penetrate the roots and help protect them. All this and fresh breath, too. Our dog sometimes forgets himself, and my husband smokes. I need a carpet deodorizer that destroys these odors without heavy perfume. So I use Arm & Hammer Carpet Deodorizer. It has a clean, fresh scent. Other products cover up odors. Arm & Hammer penetrates to absorb and destroy odors without heavy perfume. It smells clean and fresh. Why should I cover up odors when I can get rid of them? Arm & Hammer Carpet Deodorizer, America's favorite. Freshness without heavy perfume. Come in. Mr. Trammer, guess who we have here? Cole, I'm impressed by your conscientiousness. I brought your money back. Well, that wouldn't feel counted. It's all there. You've got it back. Now leave me and my family alone. If only life for that simple son. But I'm afraid it's too late. I've already closed the deal on your baby. It's all here. You have all your money back, every penny. That's not the point. Besides, he'd be better off where he's going. The people have money. They'll be able to take very good care of him. No, you can't have Joey. I won't let you have him. Did you trace the license plate? Yes, sir. The vehicle is registered to a man by the name of Simon McKay. Give McKay's phone number, I want to talk to him. Yes, sir. We'll exchange coal for the baby at the old train museum. Have the mother bring it herself. I'll stay out of the way, I promise. We'll take care of this. You stay here with Tilly. What if they hurt coal? We won't let them. Why do they want my baby? Look, I don't know, but we won't let them take Joe. Alex, you ready? Yeah. Please let me come with you. Look, look, you've trusted me so far. Just a little bit longer, all right? Now, where's Joey? Napping in the den. Good. Just remember, have good thoughts, PMA. What's that? Positive mental attitude. Yeah, now, Tilly's in the kitchen. Everything's gonna be all right. Okay.
You were told to have the girl bring the baby. She was too upset. It's just the baby you want, isn't it? Let's see the baby. Where's Cole? Simon! Don't do it! Take Joey and get out of here! Run for it, please! Shut him up. Simon! Listen to me! Wheel it up here. All right, get it. Hey, what are you trying to pull here? Be something to eat. Raisins are big business. So when Kellogg started putting two scoops of raisins in the raisin brand, I knew we had problems. It's simple. It's the law of raisins. You put two scoops in each box, you sell more boxes. Bam! 
Raisin shortage. I respect Kellogg's, but that's a lot of raisins. You know what I tell people? You got a backyard, plant raisins. Fiber Ridge Kellogg's Raisin Brand. Two scoops is a lot of raisins. Winning, it's easy. Give 110%, expect 110%. From yourself, everyone, everything. Speed Stick deodorant gives 110%. That's its edge. Why? It has no alcohol, and alcohol evaporates. Speed Stick protection doesn't evaporate even after 24 hours. Glides on dry in just a few strokes. That's 110% protection. Speed Stick deodorant, the wide stick. That's your edge. By men and... You earth people keep stars in a bowl? Campbell's chicken and star soup. Why do you put stars where you speak? That's the way we eat now. This is the way we eat. Campbell's tastes good. <laughs> Fun. Kids may be different, but Campbell's knows what they love. That's why we have six delicious soups for kids. If you eat where you speak, do you drink where you listen? Campbell's soup is good food. <laughs> Saturday. More speed! When the outlaws take off to save an ex-mobster's daughter. Let's do it. They're in over their heads. Ah! I told you we should have took a boat! Then, two women betrayed by one tragedy. Joanne Woodward and Lindsay Wagner. You were something to play with, like his boats and his cars. We played for eight years, and I have a six-year-old son to show for it. Haven't you ever lost a night's sleep over the pain you've caused? It just doesn't seem like you have a choice sometimes when you love somebody that much. A whirlwind of passions, Saturday. Little piggy went to market. Mm, good, huh? Yeah, that's good. And this little piggy stayed at home. Oh, he likes that's vanilla. Good, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> and this little piggy went. Oh. oh. Alex, I'm sorry. I'll get a wet wash. <laughs> that's all right. I'm getting used to it. I hope this wasn't a Paris original. Well, even if it was, it wouldn't matter because. Uncle Alex and Joey are pals, aren't we? Huh? <laughs> Uncle Alex and Papa Simon. <laughs> you know, I can't thank you enough for all you've done for us. And especially for Joey. We're gonna miss having him around. Yeah. There we are. Nice warm washcloth. <laughs> you know, you two have got some difficult decisions to make. Come on, let's go home, okay? You were their baby once. They felt the same way about you as you do about Joey. Well, yeah, but I grew up. Yeah. You were forced to grow up overnight. Remember, you're still their child. Sometimes these problems can help pull a family together. But I'm afraid to even talk to them. <laughs> They're probably just as frightened as you are. I'm not saying it'll be easy. But you've got to give it a try. If it doesn't work out, there's organizations that care. Set up to help teenagers like you and Cole. Well, yeah, but what if they tell me I should give Joey up for adoption? Oh, you love Joey. I'm sure you'll do what's best for him. Come on. Henry cannot kill. Did you kill him? A robot must not harm a human being. I know somebody else killed Martin. He might be just a mess of wires to you. He's like a child to me. Come on, get him out of there! Dying, Alex! Have I been a good son?
Hollywood stands between Val and a violent act of desperation later tonight on Knott's Landing. But first, Rick's memories of the Vietnam War are reawakened by a criminal act on Simon & Simon next.